Hello everybody and welcome back to Manor Lords where we are currently about to have our harvest and that is of course fantastic. So let's get going on that. We're also about to hit 2k influence and we will not need more influence after we get to 2k. So that seems fine to turn off our tithing at that point. So we're just waiting at this point for September to hit. That is the goal. So we're cruising on forward looking for september any moment now i really wish that it would tell us here how many days were left in this tooltip that would be really convenient but unfortunately it does not so we just kind of gotta feel it out and guess well we can kind of see here because there's 172 days left until the royal tax so i'm guessing it's going to flip over very soon here in like 10 days ish 20 days maybe something like that so that should be reasonably fine we're making some progress over here in the wow okay tithe paid beautiful so that puts us at 2k at this point i want to go around to all of our manners and make sure that we have no tithe being paid in any of these we will not need additional influence we have the influence we need now so there's no more food that we need to give away so we're going to sit at zero here. We're going to head on up to sell bits. This is also going to sit at zero on the tithe. Perfect. In Waldbrind, we're going to do the same thing. So this is going to be... This is the church. Hang on. We need to go up to the manor. There we go. The tithe is zero. And down in Iconau, it should have already been zero. And over here... This is again the church. Okay. The manor. Perfect. Zero time. Excellent. So that looks fine. We now have the influence that we need. And the king is not happy with us. But, you know, whatever. It is all completely and totally okay. So at this point, it is September. And we're going to head out and start harvesting these fields. But I also want to start setting all of these fields up. So 20%, 9%, 31%, and 23 Okay. So these are going to be wheat up here. And these are going to be barley fields. So something along the lines of that. Out over this direction, this is going to be 11%, 10%, 27 and 36 So obviously, we've got wheat here, wheat here, barley here, and barley here. So there's our fallow fields set in Iconau. Let's head on over here real quick. So this field, 37 and 38 same for the wheat in both locations. Okay, this field will be barley. This field will be wheat. Sounds good. Now, up here in Nooslow, things are a little more complicated. These fields are not going to be fallow. These are. So these will be replanted. Okay, so currently, we're just going to go through and set these to whatever is highest. And that's going to be wheat here, wheat here. But barley, actually, this is 30% barley. If barley is 30%, we'll have it be barley. Okay, so 21%, 32, so that can be barley, absolutely. I'm going to call 29 close enough, because I feel like we need more barley, but that'll be good up here. Now, over in cell bits, we're going to be swapping these fields, of course. 62 and 77, so barley in the back here, and wheat in the front. That'll be fine, and then, of course, this field is intended to be flax. So that'll be fine over here in Goldhof. We're going to have to do a fair amount of work here. And this is already set up, but we need to have all of our families head out to the fields and start working on that. So we've got... Yeah, they went directly into the farmhouse. Okay. So we're going to have these guys come out of the hunting camp, and we're going to have these guys come out of the forager hut as well. That'll be fine for the moment. And that puts four families into the farmhouse. The woodcutter's lodge? The woodcutter's lodge. Okay. So they're going to go and immediately start plowing those fields. That looks good. Now, over here in Zawau, of course, we're going to need to have some barley. 59, 58, 64, 76, 86. Okay. So barley here, here, and here. The rest of this is going to be wheat, I think. Uh, we don't have any sheep here. We might want to consider having this one be flax. Kind of like that. That should be relatively okay. We're I feel like we're a little barley heavy, though. 
This one's the lowest barley efficiency. Let's bring that over to wheat. So something like that. That should do just fine. Now, we just need to do walled bridge. So this area over here, this farmhouse is currently unlimited work area. We're going to limit that work area. And we're going to set it to right here. Okay. Now, this field is currently fallow. And we're going to have this be rye. This field is going to be rye as well. This one should be wheat. This one should also be rye. This is not great for the barley fertility over here. We'll, we'll make this one be barley. So these fields are going to be fallow this year. These will be replanted. So that's understood. These guys are going to need to do the harvest out over here, though. So we'll let them do that for now. And we'll need to head on forward. The harvest is beginning. Wonderful. So we're going to cruise forward a little bit here. And we can see the harvest is actually beginning. We've got people heading out. Looks good. Yep, we are harvesting out over here too. Excellent. Okay, so this field is going to immediately be marked as fallow. Let's check in to see if there are any other completed harvest harvested fields yet. Completely harvested fields. And the answer to that is, I think that's going to be the first one for sure. Uh, let's check up over here. Yeah, that's all good. This is going to be done harvesting very soon. And these guys, they should actually be limited to working out over here. I want them to get started on this immediately. Get started on that plow. So they're going to head out there. That's fine. They don't need to pitch into the harvest over here just yet. So these fields are going to be fallow. These are going to be replanted. So this is currently going to be set up as barley. Okay, that looks good. How are we doing on other fields? So these out here are, of course, going to be fallow, but we're not ready for that yet. This one should be set to fallow. There we go. This field will be set to fallow as well. We need to do all of these pretty much manually here. So I, I just don't like the way that the crop rotation system actually works. Uh, I'm going to burn this field because there's just this tiny little bit left here. And we're going to mark that as fallow. Okay, cool. So we've got multiple fields down over here. This is, of course, going to be fallow here and here, not wheat. And don't have crop rotation on for now. Although we probably should start using the crop rotation system at some point, now that I understand a bit better how all this works from doing it manually. But for now, hang on. Okay, that was just like fog. It just looked kind of strange. <laughs> Sure. So this is all going to be fallow out over here. I don't want to spend a single moment plowing any of this. Cool. We can see this is all being plowed over here. This is going to be replanted, and flax is the highest, so that seems okay. This is going to end up being replanted as wheat. Cool. All of this... Oh, we're saving. Okay. All of this out over here is going to be fallow. There we go. Get all that done. This field is not quite done yet. Okay. And we should be starting to plow out over here. Excellent. So we'll be fallow here. We'll be fallow here. We're still harvesting in these other locations, but that seems absolutely fine. The plow is beginning out over this way. We're getting a little bit of plow done over here, it looks like, but then they stopped and went over to harvest again. That's okay. It's going to take a little bit of time to get that all completed. Cool. So these three are all set up as fallow. This one will be fallow soon, but we're not quite there yet. Ah, we've got this field completed. So we'll definitely get going on that. Out over here, this field is done. This one's... Actually, this one is done. They're plowing it right now. Don't plow that. This field should be fallow. Get over here. Perfect. So down over here, we're still working on some harvest. This is going to be fallow. And the rest of these are as well. But for now, this is absolutely fine. Now, these fields out here are going to be replanted. Barley is correct here. We can do flax here. This is going to be flax. This is also going to be flax. That's just what we've got going on there. And the, the plow is beginning out over this way. So that looks good. Over here, we're almost done with the harvest in this field. I'm going to burn it. There's not any left. So we're just going to mark that as fallow. And we'll get this flax underway. Excellent. 
Okay. We're still working on the harvests out over here, but over here we definitely have some work to do. So this field is going to be, let's see, we are, we are fallowing all of these. So all of these fields should be set to fallow. They're not quite there yet, but they will be very soon. Let's work forward a little bit. This field is now done. Cool. And this field is done. We'll set that one to fallow. Same with this field. Cool. Down over here, we've got this field ready to be har or not harvested, ready to be set as fallow. We've just got this one wheat field left here. That looks good. Over in Imminruth, this these fields are fallow, these are set up. So we're done in Imminruth for now. That looks good. Up in Nuslo, we do still have some fallow to set up here. Yeah, this harvest is still continuing. And we're still working on the planting out over here. So 20% is correct, 21. There's a lot of flax going in over here, but this isn't surprising. This is just a crop rotation year out over here, and that's completely expected. Okay, so let's get this harvest completed over here. This field is now, in theory, good to go. Now it's good to go. And we're going to set that up as flax as well. Okay, so this is all set up over here and is plowing. This is going to be a fallow field. May as well get that done with. There we go. So these are all done. We just need this field to be finished. Okay. So now they're starting to haul in the resources. And we're going to let them do that. And we're going to let them thresh up this grain. But then they're going to need to be switched over to unlimited. Now... This up here, I want to make absolutely sure is good to go. We know that these should be in their best states, but again, this is a crop rotation here, so it's going to be a little bit. We'll burn what's left of this field. There's nothing left in it, and that's going to be flax as well. Lots of flax coming in over here this year. Okay, so over here, we know that this field needs to be fallow and will be done in cell bits. We should be almost done in new slow as well. So these guys are still hauling resources. That seems fine. And then these down here are hauling resources as well. Almost done in Nusla. So, Waldbrand. This down here is going to be replanted. So we're going to be putting in flax over here. This is going to be barley, actually. Flax here is fine. This is going to be wheat. That sounds good. This is going to end up being flax, which isn't amazing, but it's okay. Barley is the best over here. And these fields are indeed being planted. We're working on that. And then these guys out over here, all of this does end up needing to be fallow, right? So this field here, we can definitely burn and make fallow. There we go. This field can be fallow as well. Cool. So we just need these two fields over here in Waldbrand. Out over here, we've got these two fields here. This is going to be fallow. And this barley field isn't quite harvested yet. We'll just leave that be for the moment. This field is... At this point, done. Fantastic. So these are all fallow, and they should come and start plowing here. I can now is complete. Perfect. So we've still got a little bit of harvest going on in Zawau. This is barley here. This should absolutely be fallow. This should be fallow, as should this. And we've just got this one field here. Let's cruise forward until that field is done, which I believe it is now. Yes. So that's now fallow. Turn off that crop rotation. And we're going to start hauling those goods. That seems fine. Okay. Have we finished up with this barley field yet? The answer is no. Let's cruise forward until that's done, which it is now. They're actually plowing this, it looks like. Burn what's left. Stop plowing it. Okay. So that looks good. We're still plowing over here. This looks like this field... Yeah, this did get a little plowed, but that's good to go. Okay. So we know that Imminruth is done. We know that Ica now is ready to go. Right? Yes. We know that Zawau is done at this point. This is all being worked on over here. Still, this is going to end up being fallow. So we're still working on this field in Waldbrand. And we've still got some fields being worked on over here as well. So this is fine, but we know that we've got a fair amount of work to do here still. Up in Nuslo, we know that this is all fallow at this point. These guys are hauling this back, and I'm going to set them over to an unlimited work area now. They can pitch in elsewhere, wherever they need to help out. So that is indeed what they're going to do. Up over here, we know that this is all good to go. 
That looks great. And over here, we're working on plowing. It's going to take some time. We do have a sixth family in here helping out now, so that looks good. Okay, so over here in Waldbrind, we have a fair amount of harvesting left to do. Specifically, these two fields. The harvest is very nearly done, and we've begun the plow, though, and that's a very good sign. Okay, so we're just waiting on you to come in and get this done. Okay, let's burn what's re left. There's basically nothing here. And we're going to mark this as a barley field. Cool. There we go. And then this is going to be burnt as well. This is then going to be marked as a wheat field. So the rest of this should be good. They can get started on that plow. We can see that there's still a little bit of work happening over here. That's noted. Let's get this field finished up here. Get rid of that. Okay, so that's now fallow. Checking that all of these are fallow. Yes. These guys can now pitch in wherever they need to. So they're an unlimited work area. They're going to come pitch in out over here. Now, these guys, they're going to finish up this area pretty soon. And that seems absolutely fine. Do we have these already sewn? No, we don't. So we could definitely use some sewing out here. The plowing is now completed. So that looks good. I can now should be good to go. I want to hop up over here and make sure that this farmhouse is unlimited. It is. And these guys should definitely be beginning to plow out here, but they're actually still hauling some goods. That's noted. The plow has begun here, though. So that looks fine. We're still hauling goods out over here, too. Okay. So that's noted. I think that we're good to go everywhere. and We don't need to do any more changing around of things. I'm wondering right now what these guys are all doing. They're transporting. They're in a limited work area, but they're transporting out over here. I guess they're stealing grain and rye from, or rather, I, I guess they're working on threshing. I don't know. They should be sowing these fields, I feel like. But whatever. I guess it's fine. The royal tax has gone up, and, you know, that's spicy. The royal tax is definitely getting up to spicy levels. We might have to further increase our taxes. We'll keep an eye on that, but we're definitely making some progress here. So we're going to get this all cultivated fairly quickly, in theory. Over here in New Slow, we are certainly continuing to progress, but it's, it's slow going. No doubt about that, it is very slow going out here. But it is October, so that looks great. We're still working on hauling goods here in Selvitz. I'm not super happy about that, but we should be getting to work on the plow there fairly soon. We'll keep an eye on this situation. Out over here, the plow is continuing. We are going to get this plowed up before the end of the season, looks like. So that is great. Down in Zawau, how's the plow going? Actually, it's going kind of reasonably. This field should be fallow, though. Hang on. We didn't get that one fallowed. Don't waste your time here, buddy. Okay. There we go. So now we are going to be plowing over here. That will go a little bit better. Excellent. This should get all plowed up easily before the season. This is pretty much done right now, but we're going to need to do these barley fields yet. So we're making progress over here. Ikenau is running out of food. This is not surprising. We have how much grain that came in here? 77 wheat here and 41 wheat here. Okay. So that's fine. This is 26 and 29 that's going to be coming in next season. It's better, for sure. Okay. So New Slow's plow is proceeding. That looks good. And I'm interested in seeing how things are going over here. Have these guys decided to actually plant yet? They have. Okay. So that's looking good. This is all planted. And we're still working in the fields out over here, but these guys are, I believe, working on threshing. So that seems absolutely fine. Yeah, all we've got going on here is the oxen plowing, so that seems good. Ikenau is, of course, low on food right now, but we are getting finished up with the plow. 
so that will be absolutely fine. We're going to be working on threshing fairly soon. We've still got one month of food here, so I'm not too, too concerned about that. The communal oven, we could definitely put an additional family in. We have some spare families here. And we could put a family, actually two families, in the windmill. That would be okay. I wouldn't mind getting some potentially additional cultivation out here, but for the moment, we'll see how this ends up feeling. So that seems fine for now. Almost done with the plowing in Waldbrand. Of course, we don't have this whole area under plow this time, so this is going to be kind of an easier plow cycle for us. That's absolutely fine. Out in Nooslow, we have... Have we finished up over here? Yes. Almost. We're still sowing this field, apparently. We're 96% sowing. Regardless, we may want to send these guys over to pitch out, pitch in over here, or we could have them thresh up this wheat. And I think for now, threshing the wheat is reasonable. We do have two already pitching in out over here with the plow, in theory. Two farmhouses. Yeah. I think we're okay on that front. It's currently November, though, so we may actually want to clear the work area here. have them come out over here and help because I really would like to get this fully under cultivation now out here we're sowing in the wheat that's the highest of priorities for sure and we'll see if we're able to get more in here now we have four families and I'd like to have one in the trading post and we could have another in the windmill potentially We do have one that we can put in the storehouse, and we may want to put one in the granary as well. There's a, there is one in there. Okay. So that's noted in the weaver's workshop, in this apiary perhaps. Yeah, we can put one into the apiary. That seems fine. Now, the question is, are we going to get this entire plow done by the end of November? And I kind of think that we won't. That's my theory, anyway. I think it's going to be kind of spicy. We'll see how that goes. So out over here, this is fully cultivated, and we're still working on some of these fields, but we're we're working our way through this pretty quickly at this point. Down here in Waldbrind, we should be completely done. Again, this is an easy plow cycle. Out here in Eichenau, we're completely done as well. So that's good. That means that we're back and threshing. I like it. So now we're going to be baking in Eichenau, and hopefully that'll carry us through the winter. We're, of course, good in Immenruth. No problem there. So our main problem areas at this point are going to be up here in... What is this place called? This is not Waldron. In Selbitz. Yeah. Out here in Selbitz, and we're working on sowing the barley right now. We might actually get this fully done. We'll see. Nope, it's December. Okay. So this did get fully completed out here. That looks good. And now we're going to pull these families out of the farmhouse. So we're going to tell them, get out of here. We want no one in the farmhouse right now. I want to have... Ultimately, having families in this forager hut isn't very important right now, but I'm going to put two there. And then in the hunting camp, I'm going to put two. In the woodcutter's lodge, we'll put one. In the saw pit, we'll put one. In the logging camp, we'll put one. In the storehouse, one. And then one in the granary. We can have additional population growth. So this will be good for now. Okay, so let's take stock here. This got fully, fully done. This did not. We did not get the flax field sown. Now, the flax field is definitely the low priority field here. We're going to get a lot of grain out of these fields, so I like it. Waldbrind is done. No problem there. Of course, we're not surprised by that because this was not being dealt with. So that's fine. And then down here in Eichenau, this got fully completed, I believe. Yes. So that looks good. Of course, Immenruth got fully completed. We're not surprised about that one. And Nooslow got almost fully completed. This field got fully sown. Okay. So this one didn't get quite plowed. No sewage at all. This field didn't even get started. Well, actually, it's set, it's set to fallow right now. Uh, we'll have that set to wheat. That will be something that we grow starting next season. Okay. 
Well, that's definitely not ideal. But we can get started on attacking up in Hofstetten if we want to do a winter campaign here. That may not be the worst of ideas, but it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to see about making sure that our farmhouses are correctly assigned. We need to do things like resetting this so that they are just focused on this area. But we can do that all next episode, and we're probably going to go and unify the entire map next episode as well. This might be coming to an end fairly soon here. I'm not sure what else we're going to do after we unify all the map. I mean, we'll get a, another town started up here, but eh, that'll be an iron deposit town, so we can definitely work with that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.